Coming at you live from Glasgow, Scotland, this is a Nate Doggy Dog 52 production. What's up guys, it's Nate Doggy Dog 52 and I'm back again, this time with one of my first ever Nike SB pickups in true SB form. So what we have right here is a Nike SB pickup, we've got that T Tiffany coloured Nike SB box with a white Nike SB brand on the top, it's also got Nike SB in the back. Um, I'll let you guys see the box label to see the numbers. So what we have right here is the Nike Dunk Low Premium SB. Official colorway is Wolf Grey White Light Retro. Style code is 313170, color code is 022. These are, as always, in my US 13, UK 12 sizing. Uh, I picked these up when they first released, which was back on the 1st of May, I believe it was. Um, it's my receipt from Nike.com, and I'll let you guys get a quick peek at the sneaker. So here we go. Um, again, one of my favourite things about Nike SB releases and it still remains to be is they're one of the only shoes that basically always gives you a lace option. So I've got the grey um, coloured laces that are available to also go with these shoes should you wish to switch them out. Um, so, uh, Nike SB Dunk Low. Um, it's in this Marty McFly or uh, Back to the Future style colourway. Um, it's because this is the year that and back to the future, the fast forward to, um, the jump forward to, um, and so to celebrate, Nike SB have launched this um, sneaker as well. So, this is actually my first ever Nike SB dunk pickup, um, so I was literally excited to get these in hand. Again, they kind of somewhat came out of nowhere, they just kind of appeared in skate shops in Europe, and then the next thing they were gone. Um, so, when I heard that Nike were finally going to drop them, I was like, right, I'm going to go ahead and try and get these, uh, and I'm super, super happy that I was able to eventually cop these. Um, so starting with the outsole, it's that lovely translucent outsole um, and it's in that light retro colourway. Um, again, this is a sneaker that originally launched in 1985, um, the Nike Dunk. Um, originally, basically it tried to break the rules of an all-white sneaker for basketball, so it introduced in a whole host of college uh, colourways, some of the um, upper echelon of colleges um, would wear the Nike Dunk and it really started to bring colour to it. Um, skateboarders also discovered this shoe and they found that it actually worked really well skating so uh, fast forward to 2002 and they actually got um, an SB version which is the one I hold in my hand which is a little bit thicker, uh, it's got a little bit thicker tongue and also has padding around the heel um, just to name a few of the different elements um, in an SB dunk in comparison to a regular dunk low um, so as I said this colour is uh, themed after Back to the Future or the Marty McFly's however you want to call it um, as I said, it has that light retro coloured outsole and the translucent material. Um, it has the little kind of flex grooves uh, cuts into it. It also has a pivot point to allow you to get a better range of motion and to um, really sort of feel the ground and change direction. Uh, coming up, it has an EVA or ethyl vinyl acetate uh, midsole, which is basically where they cut sheets of material and then compress them together to make a midsole. Um, so that's what you have in the midsole in this, and it's a really, really nice midsole because it's that sort of a uh, white colour or a really light grey um, with the light retro speckling on here. I'm a big fan of speckled midsoles, so this is uh, up my street as well. Uh, on the upper, it's got this great combination of the uh, wolf grey um, sort of nylon material around the toe box and on the mid panel, um, as well as the wolf grey leather, and then you've got a slightly lighter colour of grey around the uh, heel, and you've got the white. Uh, heel patch with the grey Nike embroidered. Um, you've got that grey wolf grey nylon um, around the toe box uh, and you've got the white sort of thicker laces. White nylon going up the tongue and you have the Nike SB logo on the tongue. Um, but perhaps my favourite thing about this sneaker is that the insole in fact has a hoverboard style graphic um, on there which is probably one of my favourite elements and it's really something that's somewhat hidden away when you're wearing the sneaker but it's still very very exciting and it's a really, really cool um, option to have. Uh, something else that differentiates this is it has the SB dunk from a regular dunk is it has a nice little Achilles pillow so that your Achilles sits nice and comfortable in there. Um, so that is the Nike SB Dunk Glow, Marty McFly or Back to the Future. Um, just before I pop it on feet something I almost completely forgot to say is um, it has an integrated Nike Zoom unit in the heel, so you can see that right there. And um, that is right under and is part of the insole. 
Um, so you're going to feel that straight away. It's going to give you great um, responsiveness and a low profile feel and also provide you cushioning for uh, jumps and things like that when you're landing. Uh, but without further ado, let me pop these babies on feet and see how they look. Okay, so here we go guys, the Nike SB Dunk Low and that Back to the Future of Martin McFly colourway. Give you a view from the front. As always, the left foot's tied, right foot tucked in, which should be how I would lead it. Now you see a side view, back view, let's see how it's sold as well, and the other side. Very, very dope sneakers, super happy to have it in the collection. Very cool concept, and looking forward to the Nike Air Mags later this year, hopefully. Okay guys, for anyone who's familiar with the setup to my videos knows what time it is now and I grab my phone it's time to jump out of the shout outs. If you do want to be added to the shout out list then just request kindly in the comments down below and it can be done. Uh, so first off it's the reason that I do these videos, it's the homeboy from Florida, it's Ike Bezel. Next up is the big sneaker brother over there in Detroit, it's Jumpman Bossy, so shout outs to him. Uh, next up is Hess Kits over in Oregon, um, always put out consistent and great work, uh, love to check out his channel. Uh, next up it's going to be Nightwing2303, he does his weartesters.com, always the first place to check out the wear test. Um, if you want to check out another wear test just to get a comparison and see if it's consistent and definitely check out Kick Genius. ZIX, that's Sugar OK, just for Kicks 212, the sort of Florida collect collective. Uh, the Real Rare 20 Street Gear NYC, the store in New York. Uh, nice Kicks, the store down in Austin, Texas, it's always good to check out the content for celebrities and uh, NBA and NFL players um, checking out their collections. Uh, next up is Sneaker Watch TV, uh, Scoop 208, Mr. Fulmer Simpson, the homie down there in Florida, uh, Yo Ante and Yo Ante Kicks, the guy's got two channels, let's help him get that other plaque. Um, shout outs to the homie T Blake from there in Bo over there in Boston on the East Coast, always fresh apparel, Jacques Slade, shout outs to him, always got impressive content coming from him. Uh, Bullet RC, We Are The Trend, Ski TV, KicksAndFire.com, KicksInTheCity.com, Suicide of One, Swag On, Haters Out, Sam Colt 12, TL Rex 72, The Homie in Florida, Guns and Gloves, One Veracity, The Homie Up in the Northwest, Optimus P517, Sticky213, Blue Cheese, My Kicks Fly, Eddie Wynn, Jason Mark, The Homie Surrey The Sea, The Brother For Life, and a recent uh, person I've checked out on YouTube is going to be Rich's Kicks. Um, that concludes the shout out section of this video, again if you want to be added then just drop a comment down below and it can be done. If you want to be kept up with, with myself, what I'm doing more day to day and what sneakers I'm wearing day to day then follow me on Instagram and also Twitter, it's the exact same uh, handle, it's at NathanKear20, it's going to appear right here as I'm talking. Uh, also if you want to use my hashtag, it's hashtag SneakerFanWorldwide, hashtag NDD52 for me, NateDoggyDog52. Um, and again, thanks for checking out this vid. I'm now going to leave it with a closing word. Okay, guys, so I'll give you one final look at the Nike uh, Dunk Low Pro SB um, and the Marty McFly or Back to the Future colorway. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do like, comment, and subscribe. Um, again, check out my back catalogue to see how, check out some previous videos that I've done. And until the next video, this is the Nike Dunk World Pro SB McFlies. I've been Nate Doggy Dog 52. Peace.